When the wife of a Covington area fire chief was found dead inside of her burning home in the middle of the day, it was shocking. And while investigators have yet to figure out who was responsible, Nanette Krentel's family is continuing to push for answers. We first dug deep into the case in our Emmy winning special Mystery in Ashes, the Nanette Krentel story two years ago. Here's the latest now. Hey, this is Steve. Can you call as soon as you get this, please? The cell phone. Dad called and said, Kim, Nanette's dead. And I just, what? And just immediately started screaming, they, they killed her. Pretty much just like this. Fire chief's wife tragically dies in a fire, or so everyone thought. The fire was Friday. We arrived Monday. And as soon as we pulled up, I pulled Kim aside. I said, this ain't right. This hasn't even, nobody's even investigated this. It is a mystery that continues to haunt Nanette Krentel's family three years later. What happened to her? We've had enough heartache in our family and enough secrets and enough betrayal. Suicide. That's what investigators initially told Nanette's family members they suspected ended Nanette's life. Did Sheriff Smith directly insinuate to you that he thought yes. this was a suicide, that yeah. Nanette had killed herself? To, to myself. Randy and Kim were also there, but we all three heard him say suicide. He would never do that to us. An initial theory of the case that some say derailed the investigation. It led her family to essentially start one of their own. They can handle the science of it. You know, we can talk about the house and all that. But just knowing that she's gone, that was the hardest part and knowing somebody did this. Just two months after Nanette's death, while the investigation was still very much alive, St. Tammany Sheriff Randy Smith cleared her husband, former Covington Area Fire Chief Steve Krentel, as a suspect. Our initial primary person of interest in this investigation, the victim's husband, has been cleared. Stephen Krentel has been fully cooperative with this investigation from the beginning. Nanette's family members initially worked with Steve to search for clues about who may have killed her. Gina Watson, Nanette's cousin, spent hours on the phone with Steve. He put up with a lot of questioning. He put up with a lot of negativity from me because I wasn't easy on him in any kind of way. I asked him about the supposed affair that we'd heard about with the coworker, which he admitted to but claimed that Nanette knew about and gave her blessing. Gina says that claim and a list of others led them to an impasse, even though some of their talks were fruitful. She's sharing the content of those calls with us for the first time in a new worldwide true crime podcast on the case. I really had no idea what was going on under the surface with her. You'll hear extended interviews with family members about their journey looking for answers. Steve actually carried the box up the aisle with nothing in it and was bent over in complete, he was completely distraught. I was thinking to myself, there's not even anything in the box. It's empty. Man's body's not even released. And we have all these dramatics going on. And experts about the science of the case. But you can't follow the trail of evidence if you haven't collected the evidence. Or had it analyzed, yeah. It all comes as sources say the investigation by St. Tammany District Attorney Warren Montgomery is headed toward a grand jury. It's important that this family, the Crintel family, be assured that an independent, fresh set of eyes have looked at the death of Nanette Crintel. He subpoenaed Sheriff Smith for all the records last October. I think that there's been something bigger than Nan's case that's been going on that we don't even know about. Now, investigators for the DA have done dozens more interviews, and like the hours leading up to her death, the timeline on the latest investigation is still unclear. The first two episodes of my new podcast drop today in all the places where you probably get your podcasts, Apple, Spotify, for example. All you have to do is search Bardstown, and you should see the logo that's on your screen right now. Subscribe, and you'll get a new episode every week as we go even more in-depth into what happened to Nanette Krentel.